I'm Jana Knapp. I am the sponsorship wrangler for Ignite Phoenix. So you've just spent two hours hearing 18 amazing stories and ideas. So what's next? Ignite Phoenix exists to promote ideas that are compelling or exciting or need to be brought to the attention of the community. Our job is to build connections that allow those ideas to flourish. Tonight is merely the beginning of that process. Sometimes that process has tangible results. Let's see if this actually works. Nope. <laughs> Brian, thank you. You all have a CD in your hands. As Jeff mentioned earlier, it is the best of 10 local bands. We see one of our jobs is to promote the awesomeness that is going on in this community. Take a listen to the CD, get to know these bands. All of their website information is on the CD. If you're interested, get out and meet them. For those hardcore partiers out there, there is a free concert tonight at the Yucca Tap Room. So when you're done here, you can head over there to Tempe. It's on Mill and Southern. Goes on till 1 a.m. It's free, and I have it on very good authority. That's where the after, after party will be. <laughs> so come out and join us. There's a fun little story about how this CD came into existence. There was a tweet before Ignite 7. Erica wasn't terribly pleased with our music choices. out to her and said, well, we don't really have the expertise in the local music scene to create something great. She volunteered hers. So what you have in your hands is her heartfelt mixed tape. <laughs> We're really, really pleased to have her on the team and the fact that she reached out to us to create something so amazing. So, Erica, thank you very much. I don't put this up here to embarrass her, although that's a nice side benefit. I put it up here to prove a point. The CD is awesome. Awesomeness comes from getting involved. Oop, one too many. This is what happens when you let me get nervous and have a remote control. It's terrifying up here. Really, you should give all the presenters huge congrats for doing it. So this is Jeff looking studly right before Ignite Phoenix 4. There's a running joke you'll notice. We all have pictures of Jeff that aren't necessarily the most flattering. A friend of mine, Nina Miller, who is here tonight, thank you, Nina, dragged me out of my comfort zone and brought me to Ignite Phoenix 4. I'd never been to Ignite before, and I sat there most of the night with my jaw on the floor. I could not believe what I was seeing. Not only were there amazing presenters, but what I saw was the potential for change. Not huge change like governmental policy, economics, any of that, but change in people, in the everyday things that impact their lives. And I knew I had to be a part of that. And I am really, really glad I did. It's been amazing. I have no free time anymore. But I have met some of the most awesome people in this community, both on the team and as our presenters. I've had amazing opportunities come to me on both a personal and professional level. And I've learned so much from all of our presenters. But it wasn't until Ignite Phoenix 6 when Christy did her presentation on changing her diet and changing her life, that something hit me incredibly personally. She got up on stage, put up a slide of her in a bikini, and talked about losing 60 pounds. Cannot believe how brave the woman was. It took about three months for it to sink in for me, but when it did, I changed my diet and turned around and changed my life. Lost about 25 pounds. Thank you. 
I don't say that to fish for compliments, though you're welcome to do that. Ah. What I do it for is to tell you that there is not a single part of my life that Ignite hasn't impacted. Not a single part. And that makes me an incredibly passionate advocate for this event. I believe in its power to change people, and by changing people, change our community. So what does that mean for you? Tonight you heard 18 amazing presenters. Hopefully you heard something that makes you more interested. Hopefully you heard something that changes the way you look at things forever. And hopefully you heard something that makes you want to learn more. All right, here we go. We have provided a way for you to do that. We'll have tables outside. They'll be the ones with the black tablecloths on them, where you can meet all of our presenters. Get a chance to talk to them. Find out why they're passionate about what they are. Find out why they decided to submit Ignite. And I also ask you to talk to your fellow attendees. Learn what they're passionate about. There are great things that come out of that. We see it time and time again about wonderful partnerships that are built here tonight. All right, Brian, thank you. If nothing here tonight actually tripped your trigger, we have a YouTube channel. It's got a hundred other presentations on it from Ignite 1 through 7. Everything from hacking Wii remotes to learning how to beatbox to raising chickens in your backyard. Amazing variety of information. I am certain you will find something that you will enjoy. We also have more than 100 past presenters. I'd like to ask all of our past presenters in the audience to please raise your hands. All right, I know Cade's here, Chris is here, Bob's here, Bill's here, Jose, Evo. There are dozens of them in this audience. Find them. Ask them what they presented on. Find out how Ignite changed them and how it affected what they do. All right, Brian. Thank you. I also want to announce a new version of Ignite. Night Phoenix After Hours. Welcome to Ignite's little bit edgier cousin. <laughs> we work very hard to keep this event PG-13. It's not always easy, but we do work to keep it that way. We're also aware that there are ideas that don't necessarily fall within that realm. We would like very much to give people the opportunity to speak about those things. It is a 21 and over only event. Yeah. Content starts at R rated and goes from there. <laughs> Submissions are now open. I suggest you check out the website to see what the parameters are. Okay? But we welcome you to join us on December 3rd on the dark side. For those of you who that's a little too edgy, Night Phoenix 9 will be February 11th, right here in this space. We're incredibly excited. They have been a dream to work with. The team is fantastic here, and it allows us enough space to have all of you come see it again. Submissions are now open. I invite every single one of you to submit a presentation. You'd be amazed at what we want to hear from you. That is the Friday before Valentine's Day. We want to hear very much about what you love, what you're passionate about, and what you really think will change and improve this community. I have to also say thank you very much to our sponsors. Brian, thank you. Huge thanks to our sponsors, huge. Most of them are sitting right down here in front. They've got little badges on. Be absolutely certain you take a moment to say thank you. I also very much want to thank our year-long partners. These are our sponsors who have committed a whole year to us worth of sponsorship. 
I'd be Splinter, Bookman's, Brand X, Sightwire. Thank you. You allow us to focus more on creating a great event than raising money. And I'd be a very bad sponsorship wrangler if I didn't put out there, if any of you are interested in sponsoring, I'll be here all night. I also want to thank our volunteers. We couldn't do it without you. And you take care of so many of the details. So anybody in Ignite shirt tonight, be sure to thank them for their time and effort. We have them running around these stairs like crazy. If I could have the crew join me on stage. Huge thank you to this team. There are hundreds of hours, thousands of emails, and an insane sense of humor that goes <laughs> into creating Ignite Phoenix. Also, very much want to thank all of our families for putting up with us. Yes. Thank you all very much for coming. The after party is right outside the doors. We invite you to stay with us. Go out, light up Phoenix, stay hot. Thank you. Yeah.